Hey guys, it's Jenna. In today's video, I'm super excited because we are going to be doing a full face of probably the most beautiful makeup products I think I've ever seen visually on the market. This brand is called Florisys, and I have seen this all over YouTube already. There's a few of you guys that have recommended the products to me. Florisys has partnered with me for today's video as well, so thank you so much to the brand for partnering with me, allowing me to try some of their beautiful products from their line, and I have found some new favorites. So let's get started. Florisys is broken down into two words, which is flora and cis. Flora is the goddess of flower, and they actually use floral essences in their makeup to make it very nourishing to the skin. This brand is actually relatively new. It was created in 2017 in the West Lake in China, and their vision is basically to bring to the global market the wisdoms of Eastern beauty rituals, combine it with the floral essences that are very important to those rituals in order to keep the skin nourished and healthy, and then bring those products to the market in a really aesthetic and delicate way. I mean, some of these pieces are some of the most beautiful pieces of makeup I've ever seen. This being their newest palette, which was just released in April. This is actually on my eyes today. We're gonna to be talking about this one for sure. But the first item is actually the brow pencil. Now you guys know that I have microbladed brows, so I don't do a ton of filling in. I actually just kind of fill in the sparse areas if there are any, and this is the perfect pencil to do that. You can also draw a full brow if you would like, but this is a double-ended pencil. The pencil shape is actually a slant, and I've actually seen a lot of slanted pencils on the market already, but this is one that has a really unique formula. It's one that's not super waxy and not super creamy. It's that perfect hybrid. So if you actually draw on your brows, they're going to stay. They're not going to melt. They're not going to smear. So I was really impressed with this one. And of course I like the spoolie on the end of it because you can comb out your hairs and then fill in where you need to fill in. I think I'm going to botch the name of this brow pencil, so hear me out. <laughs> I'm gonna write it on the bottom of the screen too, so you know that if you wanna check it out, this is the exact name of it. But this is called the Lao Z Dye Floral Eyebrow Define Powder Pencil. <laughs> so if that's wrong, I'm so sorry. That just tends to happen when I try to say words from a different language, and I know it's meant to be so much more beautiful than me trying to sound it out, but this is a double-ended pencil that I really have been impressed with. This pencil is actually created with 75% powder. It doesn't skip on the skin or feel like it's tugging. It just glides on really, really nicely, and you can produce really gorgeous hair-like strokes with that slant because it's nice and skinny as well, which I do like. I don't like pencils that are too thick because then it just looks too unnatural and this one is perfect so the shade that I have that matches my brow perfectly this one's called 05 really have been loving this brow product and the complimentary refill is like the cherry on top one of my other favorite products from Florisys is actually their lip mask. So I'm gonna show you guys. This is the Ginseng Lip Balm slash Lip Mask. It's kind of like a two-in-one situation. It comes in this cute little orb and it actually has this same gorgeous like bluey green jade color. It's just so, so beautiful. Gorgeous metallic cap to it. And of course we have an applicator wand, which is very, very key. So you don't have to stick your finger in there, especially if you have nails like me, that's kind of like one of my pet peeves to get product inside my, underneath my nail there. This is a really gorgeous, creamy consistency. And I would say that I personally use this more so for a mask because I really like to layer it on. You don't need a ton, a little goes a long way, but I feel like this is one that I just wanna like cover my lips in and then sleep overnight. And I find that this one just really keeps my lips plush, keeps them moisturized. So this one actually has gooseberry in the ingredient list, which is very nourishing for the lips. And Florisys also says you can just use a thin layer if you wanna put it underneath a matte lipstick. That's also an option that you can do. But I feel like this one for myself, I just love using it as a lip mask. It just seems to melt into the skin, almost like when you're using a cleansing balm and it melts makeup off. Do you know, it sort of has that really nice, like melting balm consistency. And then when you apply it to the lips, it really melts in and keeps them nice and hydrated. Now let's talk about the eyeshadow palette that is brand new for April for Florisys. This one is called the Eastern Beast Sculpting Makeup Palette. 
This to me is like the perfect everyday friendly palette. It has very beautiful lighter tones. It's actually a nice soft hue, sort of the natural light, like soft makeup look that this brand is aiming for when it comes to developing palettes. The highlight of this Eastern Beast palette, you guys, is the intricate embossment. Take a look at how beautiful this is. This is basically like a Neapolitan ice cream kind of palette. There's that gorgeous pink, that gorgeous light brown. We have a shimmer shade in here and we also have kind of like a creamy vanilla color. Close up, this detail is insane. It almost makes you not want to use them. And that's something that I feel like, you know, as makeup lovers, when you see an embossment to this detail, you're like, oh, it's so beautiful. Like if I use it, is it going to mess it up? Well, I actually think that this is very heavily pressed, so you're going to keep this art in your eyeshadow powders for quite a number of uses in my opinion, but the strength of having such a beautiful embossment that I actually noticed with this was that it's not like it's hard to pick up any product. That is something that I've noticed when I review other makeup with an embossment pressed very deeply. It's sometimes difficult to pick up the powder because of the embossment press so tight. But this one is actually really nice. The powder comes right up. And I do find that both my synthetic and my natural hair brushes work really well with this formula. So you can use either or and create a beautiful look. Now you can actually use this for a contour if you would like because it is a cool tone brown that's in this palette. You can also use the pink for a blush. You can also use the shade here for a highlight. I would say it's more on the lighter side compared to my favorite highlight from this brand, which we will talk about, but this one is more of like a subtle highlight if you choose to use that as well. This is a very multi-purpose palette, which I love. The look I created today, I actually used all of the shades. So the first shade I applied all over is actually the one on the far right, which is right here. And this is one that created a really beautiful base to cover the eyelid. So I did use both synthetic and natural haired, and you can see that they apply evenly no matter which brush I'm using. Next, I went in with the pink. The pink is this beautiful rose, like soft rose, gorgeous color. It's right on top here. And this is one that I think is making this very bridal to me. For the brides that want like a kiss of pink, something very natural, this I think would just be beautiful for a wedding day. It doesn't distract too much from like a dress or from the festivities, but it brings your natural beauty out. And that's what I really love about this pink color. Now I wanted to add the shimmer. So this is the shimmer in this palette right over here, kind of on the left side. And this is one that is super, super beautiful. It's about medium opacity, I would say. And this is one that I just had to tap over that pink to create a really beautiful luminosity. You can see that my eyes have almost like there's some light shining through. And that's really the impression that I wanted for this particular look. I want it to feel luminous and fresh. And so that's really why I tapped this over top. It was super, super easy. Lastly, I wanted to try the brown slash contour shade, which is right here. This added very subtle depth to the edge of the look. This is not a super deep brown color. It just has this beautiful shadowing. It's not really something I'm used to. It's almost kind of like a common practice for me to add a significant shade to deepen the corners of the look and kind of add a lot more smokiness. But this one is a very welcomed change. It's just that beautiful, subtle smokiness. If you don't want something super complicated, I think this is perfect. And because of the fact that this is such a soft, natural, overall look. These are super easy to use. I don't feel like you need to be an expert in applying eyeshadow to make this look gorgeous on you. And that's why I'm like, this is so, so good. Like anyone can use this and you won't screw it up. I promise. My next favorite eyeshadow palette is this one. So this is not on my eyes today, but I'm gonna show you how it looks swatched. It's so beautiful. Compared to the Eastern Beast palette, this one offers a little bit more because there's more shades to it. This palette is called the Floral Engraving O'Day Makeup Palette called The Encounter. This one is super beautiful. You can see the outer packaging is stunning. Different outer packaging from this one. This one is kind of like a moderate weighted plastic with that really nice glossy shine over top. This one is a moderately weighted cardboard, so it's a little bit different. This is the palette opened up. It is absolutely beautiful. You can see this one reminds me of like the earthy tones of 
bedrock or something like that, you know, with those like orangey reds. They also have a pop of blue in here. It's kind of like a gorgeous shimmer. And we also have this really beautiful pinky shimmer shade that's in this palette. So it's like a pop of color with some really beautiful earthy tones. This one actually has a beautiful story behind it as well. And it's also inspired by the nymph of the Lao River. The level of detail with this palette is absolutely insane. I'm gonna zoom in for you guys so you can see. It's almost like you open it up and it's like a physical art piece. It's just really, really breathtaking. This one pays homage as well to a Chinese poem called Ode to the Goddess of the Lao River. Haven't heard of that myself, but I kind of want to look into it because it's super, super cool. This palette is super beautiful as well. It has very creamy formulas in here, like creamy mattes and those gorgeous, gorgeous glitters. I do feel like this is one that also has the exact same high quality product, like the palette that I talked about first. I do like the pop of color with these glitters. They're very opaque, very pigmented. Also like the Eastern Beast, this one is very easy to pick up when you actually apply them to the eye. And I do like how, because they're so creamy, they provide that really nice experience when you apply them. These pigments on both palettes last all day. They're just absolutely phenomenal. I've been really, really impressed with the quality of these. Just the level of detail of both of these palettes is just really beautiful. Something that I haven't seen personally before in other eyeshadow products. The next product is actually the setting powder. Now this is a loose powder, but it is very nice because it comes in this really gorgeous compact. This is called the Fairy Peach Blossom ultra lightweight setting powder. This is actually the porch window edition. You can see like the packaging here and how it's designed. Of course, that beautiful color, we can see it's like maintained throughout the brand. Now this is one that Florisys has included a velvet puff. Look how cute that is. I love the color of it, number one. And it's interesting because I don't typically apply my powder with a velvet puff. <laughs> But for the sake of when I tested this makeup brand out, I was like, wow, this actually feels like I'm like the queen or something. Gives this really nice touch of luxury, which I love. Have to get into more puffs, I think, when it comes to my setting powders. This one is really beautiful because it has like a door, kind of keeps the powder contained, which is really nice. And then we have this base here that you just press into to get the powder to come out and apply onto either the puff or the brush. This is one of their best selling products in the Florisys line. It's so impactful. You don't need a ton on your skin to really set it for such a long time. It's kind of like a soft matte. I tried to show you in this clip how lightweight and airy this powder is. So hopefully you can see just how beautiful it looks when you tap your brush and it just goes airborne like that. It is so, so light. The lipophilic hydrophilic formula that actually is infused with hyaluronic acid is the reason why this powder keeps your skin looking super nice, keeping your makeup in place, but not drying out or feeling tight on the skin, which I really, really like. The next product that's one of my favorites that's actually on my face today as well is the Floral Do Care Cream to Powder Blush from Florisys. Love the packaging of this. It's just this beautiful, pinky, gorgeous, like piece of art once again. They kill it with packaging. They kill it with that detail. It's just really, really something that a makeup lover is gonna love. <laughs> This is actually a super easy to blend blush. It's actually one that you can use with a brush, with a sponge, with a fingertip application. I personally love using a brush with this and you can see that I'm using a synthetic brush to apply it today. A brush just seems to give me the most control because it doesn't put a big impact like dent in the pan if I'm not careful when I actually apply pressure to pick up the product. So because of how delicate and just like creamy this product is. When you actually swatch this, I had to be cautiously careful that I wasn't going to actually like dent it, you know, because it's so beautiful. But this one is also available on the website, comes in a number of shades, I believe nine or so. And there's some solid ones that don't have the highlight. There's also this one that I have here, which is the Peony Rosy Blush Shade. This one I just love. I just feel like it's very easy to use and super lightweight on the skin. And I do feel like that's kind of an overall theme with this brand. It's like using your natural beauty and not feeling weighed down when you wear your makeup. Next, I applied the highlight, which is a beautiful, guys, <laughs> beautiful highlight. Very, very pigmented. And I do love that because this is going to last a really long time, but 
wanted to share that cautionary note so that you don't over apply it and be like, ah, what's going on? This looks like liquid gold swirled together, does it not? It looks so beautiful. Beautiful, intricate design, just like the eyeshadow powders. This is lovely. Looks so pretty. It has a really nice touch of pink to this one, like a gold pink. Really, really beautiful. I think it's actually going to appeal to a lot of different skin tones. This one's called the Dual Blossom Glow Up Highlighter. Still has the same theme of that ultra fine powder that really effortless, like feels like nothing on the skin, yet very, very impactful. So I really love that. I actually love applying this with a brush, just like a typical powder highlighter. There's very gentle, non-irritating, ingredients that brighten and nourish your skin as well in this highlighter. This highlight also does a great job of camouflaging your pores and basically making sure that you don't have anything emphasized like texture and stuff like that. I do tend to have some texture up here and I've actually had some additional stress in my life. So there's more texture to work with today than a typical day. And it just looks so beautiful on the skin. I really, really love this. Another showcase product in this line has got to be the lipsticks. If you guys have seen this brand on social media, this is probably another one that a lot of people talk about. One of the most popular products from the line, I would say. This is the lipstick case. Whoa, this is so beautiful. It also has a charm you can attach to it. So you can actually take this off or you can keep it on if you want, but it just has that really gorgeous level of detail. Like, come on, this is insane. It also, so this is how it works. When I first got it, I was like, where's the lipstick? <laughs> how do I get it out? There's actually a key. You can see kind of like a key right here and you just push on it just like that. So it pops right out and then you can take it out. I find that this is a really gorgeous made case, very heavy in the hand, same level of detail and like exquisite art basically that's carved into the casing. This is the Blooming Rouge Love Lock Lipstick. And this is one of the first products, like I said, that drew people to this brand. A lot of the international customers that came to discover Florisys was when they first saw this one. According to the brand, the lipstick design is actually inspired by Chinese love locks. In China, a love lock is actually a token of affection that you give to your partner that you love. I thought that was so cute. <laughs> I love stuff like that. This one is very, very delicately engraved as well. And the bullet makes you not want to use it. I swear. I promise you, if you do feel brave enough to actually use the pigment, you won't be disappointed. This is a really beautiful, soft matte finish. And it's actually a matte that I feel like is very comfortable. If you guys are familiar with me, I am not a matte girl at all. If I wear a matte lipstick, it has to be comfortable. It has to be a really creamy formula that still gives you that matte look, but doesn't dehydrate and dry out my lips. And this is perfect. It's very lightweight very pigmented, very impactful on the lips. Now this lipstick is actually extremely bright. As you can see, it's a very bold red. So you can actually line your lips first if you would like. You don't necessarily have to because the way that the tip of this lipstick is, it's actually incredibly fine and detailed, but because of the bold pigment, keep in mind that you might prefer to feel a little bit more comfortable to line first. I actually think that because this is such a beautifully unique lipstick and the quality is really, really lovely, the detail of the casing as well as the bullet, this is like a perfect gift for someone, like an anniversary gift, like Valentine's or a birthday or something that's just really special, you know? Because I don't know about you, but I have not seen a lipstick to this level of detail <laughs> in my life. It's like something you can showcase on a vanity. It's absolutely beautiful. Now this is the final look of course, now that we've talked about all of the products and I've given you guys a review of the brand as a whole. Thank you so much to Florisys for partnering with me on today's video once again. These are some of my favorite products from the brand. I really hope that you guys enjoy the brand as well. If you are interested in exploring the brand, picking up a couple of things, they do offer international shipping for my Canadian friends. Don't worry about that, but international shipping is available. The brand also gave me a discount code, which is Jenna5. If you are interested in saving some coin with an order, I believe it's $5 off a $100 order. So it's really nice to save a little bit there if you are interested. I have everything linked in the description box below. This look has been so fun to create. And like I said, you can either do a bold look like this because the eyes are soft enough in my opinion, 
or you can do a really beautiful nudie pink to make this very, very stunning as well. There's such flexibility with this look. I absolutely love it. Till my next one, guys, take care and stay safe. Bye, guys.